foods doctors won't eat and why. First, I wanted to state that this information is from world news and there is no single drop of false statements. These will be the actual words that doctors have said. So, let's get started. Ice cream. You may actually scream about ice cream when you hear what doctors have to say about it. The worst food for humans, states Dr. Hart. It is chock full of chemicals, hormones and pasteurized diary. Pasteurization changes the proteins of milk. It has statured fats and worst of all, sugar in it. But what about frozen yogurt? Frozen yogurt. And as far as his opinion on frozen yogurt, not much better at all. It all has sugar, which has ruined more of human civilization than any ingredient. Fruits and vegetables. The ones on the environmental working group's dirty dozen list. Dr. Chandra suggests buying these organic to avoid plasticides. Avoid anything with an ingredient you might see in chemical equations from your 10th grade chemistry class. Let's say sodium benzoate plus potassium bromate equals food. I won't eat. You should only buy those fruits and vegetables organic. How many fruits and vegetables should I eat? Experts recommend 5 to 9 servings of fruit and vegetables daily. This may seem like a lot, but if you simply gather your fruits and vegetables as a snack instead of potato chips, you can get a lot of your daily needs. Soda, juice and energy drinks. We all know that these are some of the worst offenders because of the extremely high sugar content and acidity, says Dr. Chandra. This is toxic to your teeth, leaches calcium from your bones, in addition to contributing heavily to obesity because of the sugar content. No ifs and buts, just avoid them. And the other doctors couldn't agree more. More on soda, juice and energy drinks. Soft drinks are liquid candy, confirms Dr. Tolcher. Pick eating an apple over drinking apple juice. Most of the juice say right there on the bottle, contains no fruit. And as far as energy drinks go, too many stimulants, scorns Dr. Pacheco. Some studies show that there is increased platelet aggregation along with heart problems. Caffeine is fine for bodies, but exclusive quantities are a problem. Artificially colored foods. If it has a color within a number next to it, still clear away, advises Dr. Chandra. Compounds like yellow 5, red 40, the brilliant blue 1 is dried from coal tars and they have all been shown to cause allergic reactions. Yellow 5 has been precisely linked to cancer. What are some examples? Many artificial colors were banned in Europe after research showed ill effects and consumers protested. However, we still allow them in USA, Fruit Loops, Lucky Charms and those weird blue sl slurpees at 7th till 11 May taste good, but they are almost the definition of toxic. Cold cuts. These are among the worst processed foods because of the high fat and high sodium content, but even more so the nutrients used as preservatives, shares Dr. Chandra. These have been linked to stomach cancer, among other illnesses. It is important to remember that this includes products like hot dogs, as Dr. Maroon pointed out earlier. What are the dangers of cold cuts? These have been linked to stomach cancer among other illnesses. It is important to remember that this includes products like hot dogs, as Dr. Maroon pointed out earlier. Processed chicken and farmed fish. When it comes to chicken and fish, most people think they are safe by eating the leaner protein. But not reading labels can cost you down the line. Why are processed chicken and farmed fish dangerous? Birds in general get sick with common viruses that we can catch, says Dr. Hart. Plus, they are pumped with chemicals like ar arsenic and heavy toxins. People need to see 
how if you eat an unhealthy animal, you end up unhealthy. High fructose corn syrup. This was invented to cut down on the cost, confirms Dr. Pacheco, who strongly advises against the usage of this practically diabetes-inducing sweetener. This sweetener bypasses the glucose regulatory pathway, landing fructose to be stored as fat more easily. High fructose corn syrup is likely a big contributor to the obesity epidemic. How do we avoid high fructose corn syrup? I read labels to rule this out as an ingredient before I buy something, Dr. Chindra discloses. Furthermore, he says artificial sweeteners like Slenda and NutraSweet should also be avoided. Trans fats and fat substitutes. These are being eliminated in many countries, but seeing partially hydrogenated in the list of ingredients should warn you away, Dr. Chandra advises. These are classic artery closures and predispose to heart attacks and strokes. The research evidence, but the truth is, this is the easiest one to avoid. How do we avoid fats and fat substitutes? They are completely banning these, says Dr. Tolcher, so avoiding them shouldn't be a problem. And pasteurized milk. Specifically, this milk is extremely harmful because of the bacterial content it contains. Dr. Maroon even suggests just eating organic milk as the antibiotics and hormones used in milk are concerns. Organic milk. Organic milk avoids these harmful hormones and is therefore a better choice when consuming dairy. For example, Horizon Organic keeps its cows on an organic diet to keep the milk free of chemicals. Bleached floor. Is wheat okay? Dr. Hurd believes that GMO standard wheat is practically harmful. Americans gave up gluten and dairy, 75% of the world's health problems would go away. Of course, this product, just like many others, is okay to consume in moderation, but be practically cautious. White foods, potatoes, rice, flour, pasta, bread and table sugar all have a very high glucemic index, which will repeatedly raise blood sugar and quickly lead to urge to eat again, says Dr. Maroon. Food from a box. Of course, doctors are just as guilty of eating these foods, but the ones that we spoke to generally try to avoid them. Think mac and cheese and hamburger helper guides Dr. Chandra. Generally, boxed foods should be eaten rarely because they come loaded with preservatives to keep their shelf life long. Skipping meal is better than eating bad ones. Fact. Dr. Hart says there is no excuse for these quick fix meals. Nobody has ever died, especially in America, for skipping a meal. If you are on the run, Get some water and eat when you can get to the decent food. Not that he is advising skipping meals, but he is proposing for skipping bad meals. I would rather be hungry than toxic. Canned food. When it comes to canned food and bottled water, it isn't just the food itself that concerns doctors. The BPA that could be in the cans is what concerns them most. With Dr. Maroon even saying that he would only eat those foods if they are labeled BPA free. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, like the video and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.